spectacular. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm being transported somewhere. Garrett and Samantha, you guys work for the Gaylord Hansen team. Yep. So you do mortgages. Yep. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, you guys also know the hottest spots in San Diego. Yeah. We well, try to stay cool. I mean, we, we really do. <laughs> We're in Solana Beach today. We're at the uh, Stretch Lab. And you did mention to me it's one of your goals to stay uh, very limber and uh, be able to do the splits all the way through your pregnancy. Hey, that is my goal. Well, I brought you to the Stretch <laughs> Lab today. And we're going to go stretch. And I'm a little nervous. But uh, it's a beautiful day in Solana Beach. And uh, yeah, let's go check it fun. out. Yeah. yeah, let's go in there. Cool, cool. Okay, we're in Stretch Lab Solana Beach inside with Angie, the owner yep. of this Perfect. location, and possibly some more to come. Yes. But we share the same passion for spin. This Tell us true. a little bit how you got started and that and how that relates to this. Sure, so I left corporate America and was looking for a new venture. And as I was on my trek to look for businesses and going to open up my own spin studio, I started looking at other concepts and Stretch Lab came my way and it had my gut. And I thought that this was gonna be something brand new, uh, first to launch in San Diego and the opportunity to really serve the community. So it was Stretch Lab all the way. So awesome. This is really cool. I've never heard of anything like this. So I don't even know who would benefit from something like like Stretch Labs. Well, the best part is that everybody and everybody can benefit from Stretch Lab. Well, like so that. whether yeah. you are <laughs> a fitness enthusiast looking for a better recovery time, whether you are a desk jockey and you've got tight hips, mm -hmm. maybe some tension in your shoulders, maybe you need to work on your posture. If you are athletic, if you are not athletic, if you are older, younger, we really have a little something for everybody to benefit and give them longevity in life and more freedom of movement. Yeah. So is it like an alternative to physical therapy yeah. or like yoga? Like what, what is, do you do this with it or what, what would you do? So we're a one-on-one -on -one assisted stretching studio. Okay. So it is more of a synergistic relationship that we would have with PT or chiropractic care. Okay. And we are going to be working together with them to give them the stretch that they need. A lot of times they send you home with stretching. This is a place that you can come to where a trained certified flexologist will do the stretching for you. Got it. So when people come here, do they sign up for single sessions or is it membership or how, how do, what do, you, what do they session. expect when yeah. they come here? So the type of stretching that we do really needs consistency added to it, just right. like everything in life to get those results. So sure, we do have walk-ins as well as membership-based service. So the idea is to come either once a week or twice a week for 25 or 50 minute sessions, but the trained certified flexologists are so versed on the body, we invite you to come in, they analyze and see what's going on with your body and then they will give a recommendation of how often they want to see you in order to achieve those results in your body to get out of the pain and to have them service your body to have that result and we do our best to try to match a membership that makes sense for your body your time and your budget yeah. that makes a lot of sense but I'm still confused who are these people stretching us? I know <laughs> well that's great that and that's a perfect question I think the biggest differentiator between us and any other assisted stretching at stretch lab it's the talent here. The trained certified flexologists are amazing and they have national certification in health, wellness, or fitness, minimum two years of work experience. And then on top of that, we put them through another about 80 hours of training to make sure that they can treat you exactly what you need and customize the stretches to achieve those results that you're looking for. So these really are like the They're best of the, the best. best of the best. The best of the best. I mean, we've got, um, you described Tim Body. He's Tim a doctor of physical bomb. therapy. He's actually a master flexologist. There's only three in the country. So wow. now he is trained what? to go out and train other flexologists. Wow. We've got one of our flexologists today, Drew. He's actually training for the Olympics. He's oh a personal gosh. trainer. He is a yoga instructor. He's a fitness model. We've also got Marissa who is 
trained in a body work called reactivation. She's a massage therapist. She's a NASM personal trainer. So all of these people really have multiple certifications in the body, which is going to give you the confidence and also the results that you're looking so to you, achieve here. So you remember why I said I was nervous to get <laughs> stretched, right? Yes, <laughs> Olympic people right. that are about to stretch yeah, you. We're about to get really stretched out. Are you guys ready for it though? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Okay, do it. I'm going to take you to Dan, the general manager, and he's going to show you exactly what to expect and let's get you stretched. Let's, let's do it. Awesome. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Okay, Garrett, so we had you on our max test machine before you had your stretch and we noticed that you're working with a lot of lower mobility in your in your lower body. So we've got Derek here working on some glute and lower back stretches for you and we're gonna work through that. How's it feeling? Feels pretty good right now. Good, Relaxed. hopefully we can get you into that squat a little bit deeper and we'll test you again afterwards. Yes. <laughs> okay, and then we have <laughs> Samantha over here. Now you told me that you've been doing a lot of spinning recently. How yeah. many times a week do you spin? Well, uh, typically like one to three. Maybe okay. three times a week. That, that's <laughs> a lot. So we noticed that you're dealing with a lot of tightness through your hamstrings and through mm -hmm. your hip complex. So Drew is gonna focus there and then work outwards from your hip from your hip complex Amazing. and um, and see if we can get you feeling good and loosen up those hamstrings for you. Cool. Okay, and Molly, Marissa told me that you're pregnant right now. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Good. So we have a few people come in here that are pregnant. We're finding that as they as the baby's growing and they're getting more weight in the front of their body, it causes lower back pain. So we're gonna be working with a with performer stretch right now to help keep you out of lower back pain. Um, the kind of stretching that we do here is called proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. That's a mouthful. <laughs> right. We just call it PNF for short. It's the only kind of stretching that's scientifically proven to give long-term changes and long-term improvements to your body with a consistent stretching routine. That's really cool. I mean, I can definitely feel like I'm already like a little bit more limber each time you stretch me dip deeper. Is that what I'm experiencing? That's right, yeah. So what the PNF does is it's a strength counter strength stretch. So each time that Marissa asks you to push back towards her body, and relax again, we can get you a little bit deeper into the stretch. It basically oh. tricks your neurological system into allowing that stretch, where normally if you were stretching on your own, your body would naturally tell that muscle, tense up right now because we, you know, this might be damaging. So I'm gonna be like Gumby after this is what you're yes, saying. Yes, you're gonna be all floppy like a noodle. <laughs> I'm totally into it. So definitely isn't something you can like find on YouTube or do yourself at home. That's right, yeah. It's, it's really a one of a kind thing. You come in and, and you lay back and relax and we do all the hard work for for you. Well, thank you very much, you guys, for coming down to China us out. You've still got a few minutes left of your stretch, so I'll leave you to it. Hope you enjoy the rest of it. Thank, thank you. you so much. Appreciate it. feel loose and I, awesome. I feel so I, good. I can touch my toes now. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Could you not do it before? No. <laughs> well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely coming back to Stretch Labs here in Solana Beach. Oh yeah, I'll be back for so sure. amazing. Absolutely, thanks for bringing me here, you guys. Yeah, of course, Absolutely. it's Next fun. Time. I was so excited when you said we were going to go to one of your favorite cafes, but I was amazingly surprised when I saw how much beautiful love and culture is in this place. So tell everyone where we're at today. Yeah, culture and coffee, right? Yes. Uh, we're at Porvita Cafe in Barrio Logan, and we're lucky enough to have the owner, Milo, with us. Thank you. Welcome, you guys. Welcome. Thank you Thanks so much. Here. Thank you for being here. So Jesse raves about you. I'm trying out. I, it's pretty amazing, but what was the concept behind starting Poor Vida? Um, the concept, I guess, I mean, you know, Barrio Logan has such great history, I think, um, to start off with. I think anything that's done here has to be done right. Um, and, and embracing the culture definitely 
is um, the main, like the big thing. You know what I mean? You gotta, it has to be authentic. Exactly. It yeah, has people to be. People will see right through it. Exa especially here. Yes. Yeah, especially <laughs> here. Um, we got, you know, Chicano Park a block away. Um, you know, everyone, you know, has been doing things from the 70s here and for a purpose. You know what I mean? And we felt like if we came into, you know, into this area and we were going to do something, we knew we had to do it right. Absolutely. You know, so I think that. Um, you know, purpose and passion, you know, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I think um, that's what, you know, we were aiming to get, just execute it the right way. I mean, I think you guys are doing things right because, yeah. you know, we've been down here, we visited your neighbor's salute down the yes, street. Which yes, you helped yes. open. Yeah, yeah, we, we were, you know, we were all, we were a team that we, uh, that. you know, salute is, it's, it's, you know, forefront of the place, you know, of all these businesses here. Um, you know, we're like family, you know, and, uh, it's just another stem off of off of it, you know. Yeah, true testament to the culture. Yes, right? definitely. It but stays strong. I have to be honest. It, it wasn't that I was passing by. That's not how I noticed you guys. I noticed you guys through social media. Right. <laughs> you guys. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, Jeffy. surprise. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. tend to lurk there from time to time. You guys have like thirty-four thousand followers. Yeah. We've yeah. been to some big places. I don't even have thirty-four thousand. Yeah. You <laughs> add all of these big places up, and nobody has thirty-four thousand. Yeah. So uh, how do you guys? do it I mean what is it I think you know it's all organic you know I think it's just you know you, you your heart and your mind is in the right place and you're gonna attract people see that you know what I mean they're attracted to that and I think you know just doing things um, you know play by play and, and just executing them and I think people are just you know they they're, they're following the new trends you know what I mean and I think yeah. for us being Chicanos Mexican, you know, uh, it was it was new. You know, the coffee game. The, San Diego's big in the coffee game. It sure is. It's yeah. huge. <laughs> it's just like the beer. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. so you you know, but I think like we were kind of like on the forefront of it. You know, no one was really doing any kind of like Latino kind of Mexican coffee. Nope. I mean, people were doing things, but we really focused on really putting it out there. You know what I mean? And 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 bringing back those old flavors, those ingredients that we grew up knowing as a kid, you know, the canela and, you know, the brown sugar and the horchata and all these things that were people were like, we put them in the coffee or our drinks because that's all we had. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And now, it wasn't a style of yeah, thing. yeah, you know, now it's become trendy, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So, you know, and, uh, but I think it's just, you know, it was just, it was done all organically and people love what we do. and. And I think they, they can see right through that. They can see that it's true and that we, you know, we come from the heart with it, really. We really try to. Well, like you said, there's so many coffee shops, right? Around right. every corner. And, and what I love is you have people passing one, two, three, four, five coffee shops just to come here. To come yeah. Here. I, not only, yeah. man, I'm telling you, like, it's funny because they'll come to the register and they'll be like, we came all the way from Arizona. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I'm like, you passed 46 coffee shops <laughs> on the way down here, you know? And I mean, LA, Arizona, wow. New Mexico. I mean, every day we get so much people that that want to come it's kind of like it's definitely not kind of it is it's a destination spot yeah, now absolutely. um you know and i and, I'm, and I'm, we're super thankful and grateful for that we try to stay you know up on, on and be on point you know and i it's just we're, we're blessed we just do what we love and people they can feel it you know yeah. what I mean? and what so. a compliment to you i mean what does that make you feel like as oh, an yeah. owner a creator to bring that love and passion back into you know it's it's i mean it's amazing it feels great you know we have a great team you know my co-owner carolina santana she is like the backbone you know what i mean and uh and you know our team, our managers, and our and baristas. Uh, more than half of our baristas uh, live in Tijuana, you know, too. So we really like, we really, we take this serious. You know what I mean? And we really, really wanna, supporting the yeah, culture. Exactly. And then I hear you have a famous lemonade. Is that yeah, what's happening? yeah, yeah. The uh, the cold brew lemonade. Um, that's that's it's our uh, cold brew coffee mixed with our, our limonada. It's all fresh, oh, hand pressed. Huh? I and like it's it. and people kind of like, ah, you know what I mean? <laughs> but once you taste it, That's it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's like when you think about it, it's not like the most coffee and you know juice. Yeah. It's a, well, you know, but it's it's amazing. It's All amazing. Right. And we have a few new other drinks. We have um, we do one called uh, Buenos Vidas. Uh, it's like good vibes. Uh -huh. So we do a, a Mexican mocha with sage. You know, so it, that's the newest one we put out, and it's amazing too. So 
Milo, thank you so much for having us. And even more importantly, thank you for bringing that passion thank you. to Barrio Logan. Thank you and I think I it's time it. we try this lemonade. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's do it. it. Let's have a drink. All right, let's do it. Look amazing. Look, visually, where do you it's ever like get anything like this? Art in a glass. Yeah. You ready to go drink things? Yes. Let's go. I've been waiting. <laughs> okay, so if these taste anywhere as good as they look, we're in for a treat. Oh, right? yes. And it's such a perfect day. Barrio Logan, I mean, it has shops, restaurants, and I love that they keep the culture in it. I know, it's right? truly a destination spot here. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. It was such a pleasure being here. And there goes Milo. Bye Milo. Bye, Milo! So cheers to Milo and uh, cheers to Por Vida. Cheers to Por Vida. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, off-road warehouse. Yeah. I figured we'd come from the coast a little bit and check this out. Okay, well, I think we're gonna have some fun today, yeah? It's gonna be awesome, yeah. I have a couple good friends that run this place, so let's go in and meet them and check this place out. Okay. Awesome, let's, let's go. Let's do it. Look at this place. I know. Welcome. How's it going? What's up, Sammy? Good to see you, man. See you too. Hi, you Sammy. Hallie, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you as well. Thanks for this, coming. Yeah, this place looks like it has a lot of toys, a lot of fun things in here. Oh, yeah, this is an awesome store for sure. <laughs> we went to the grand opening. I brought my boys. They had a blast. You guys loaded them up with stickers and candy and all kinds of good yeah. stuff. But, I mean, obviously, being from Alaska, I grew up with big trucks. Every single one of my buddies had lifted trucks, this, that. So it was like a lifestyle. We'd go yeah. four by and we'd have a blast, the muddier yeah. the better. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about Off-Road Warehouse here in San Diego and how it impacts, you know. The yeah, the San Diego community, yeah. So Off-Road Warehouse, the best way to describe this is we're authentic, you know, and we cater to the lifestyle of Off-Road. And that could be whether it's the sand dunes, you know, Glamis, Baja, Big Bear, or even just going, you know, on the ocean and going on the sand. And so customers come to us because it's, it's a lifestyle, it's a, it's, it's, they're passionate about it. So they'll come here for you know, wheels and tires or lift kits, or they'll come here for Overland where they can go camping with their kids. So it's just a great feel when you come to Off-Road Warehouse. And again, I the best way to describe this is we're, we're truly authentic and they come here because they enjoy the lifestyle of, of Off-Road. For sure, I definitely feel like it fits the San Diego lifestyle. Cause you know, San Diego, yeah, you're on the water, but you're also on the road. So yeah. I feel like, is this kind of like where people come to pimp their ride, their Jeeps and their trucks type of thing? Absolutely, again, it's for, we do everything from mild to wild. So we do what we call the pavement pounders. So mm -hmm. that you can come in and just exercise your, you know, your truck Jeep or SUV to drive down on the road and, and look good. But if you're an off-road enthusiast, you're an avid racer, you're gonna come to Off-Road Warehouse and get Tabs and, and, and uh, Himes and stuff that really cater to that off-road community. So Off-Road Warehouse truly is a one-stop shop to the you know, regular customer that's the, their next door neighbor or to your off-road racer. Yeah, for sure. And where we are right now, is this this feels like more like a showroom than just a regular store, right? Yeah, so this is our, our flagship store. So we recently moved our store from Balboa over here to Kernavilla Road. And this is, uh, you know, we want to make sure that the, the we give the customer a really good shopping experience. And so we categorize the, sh the show by, by category. And you can see that we offer, you know, race products. We offer also offer camping stuff for, for the families uh, to, to Jack's. And then, you know, you can see kind of display what, what we carry. So it's just a great uh, feel, offers you know, all the variety that we showcase to our consumers and they love it. So it's just a good shopping experience in this facility. And then you also obviously have the service department in back where you, yeah, they yeah. come pick something out and boom, it's. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a really big service center. We have 14 hoists over here. So uh, you know, we, we're, always, we're always busy and uh, we have great technicians here, all AC certified technicians. And what's great about all our employees is they're all enthusiasts. 
So they love what they're doing and so they get to build some cool stuff, you know, so it's, it's awesome. So it's really cool to find about this whole world, right? Because yeah. in San Diego, we find about everybody doing things on water, but there's this whole off-roading community, right? Yeah, absolutely. So off-road warehouse is, is heavily involved in the community of the San Diego market. Again, the San Diego market is, a, is the mecca for off-road racing and just the passion for, for trucks. So we are heavily involved with uh, Jeep clubs, with meetups, um, at events. You know, off-road warehouse, you always see us there. And we like to host events here at our store here. So if you're a Jeep club or you have a, you know, an enthusiast base, Come on to our store. We'll, we'll gladly host, buy you some pizzas, maybe some beer. Pizza, and uh, we'll pizza take care of you guys. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's very cool. Like, the one thing that it's about Off Road Warehouse is that it's really about the family. We, we call it Venture Off Road with Off Road Warehouse. Awesome. So again, it's not just about making it look cool. It's about actually getting somewhere, going camping, going surfing, going off roading, going to Glamis. Having it's just, fun, it's making a memories. It's a lifestyle, and that's what Off Road Warehouse that's is. Awesome. We're authentic. So Garrett's one of my best buddies, known him for about 20 plus years, kids about the same age. We ride, we ski, we board, yeah. and now we're doing some fun off-roading with the boys and stuff, having a blast. By the way, they're still asking about when we're going out next. Let's so go. We'll have to work on that. Yeah. So hey man, you're, we're here at Off-Road Warehouse. Obviously, tell me a little bit about what your role is and what you do here. For sure. So I'm the director of dealer operations. Uh, I've created a channel for Off-Road Warehouse where we basically go to dealerships all across San Diego and build awesome trucks. So we get to take brand new vehicles, build them up, lifted and gifted, and uh, give them back to the dealers for the public to come by and check out and test drive and you know see what they want to do. Awesome. That sounds good because I personally do want a white Jeep. I want a Jeep Wrangler. So nice. tell me what that process is like. I just bought my Jeep yeah. and then what? Do I find you? Are you already connected so with a dealership? Yeah, you'd be able to actually go to a dealership. Uh, like we work with Rogers Jeep uh, and they would be able to sell you your Jeep, but we'd either have outfitted there at the lot or we would build it with them. So it's great because when you buy a Jeep and you lift it, uh, you know, we take care of your warranty to make sure that you know, nothing gets voided. We work with IDA warranties. Uh, it's an awesome process and super easy. We also have an awesome event coming up November 16th and 17th uh, with Sunland Resorts. We're gonna have like a big off-road warehouse adventure rally. So it's gonna be super fun. It's gonna be a weekend barbecue, check out some cool rigs, go for some trail rides, and kind of just live the authentic off-road culture. That's so cool. What does that event consist of? So do I come with my geeked up uh, truck and stuff like that and yeah. you just ride around? For sure. So we, uh, we'll have vendors there. Uh, it'll be you know a, a camp out. So it'll be really fun. We'll have uh, a trail run, so you'll be able to follow it, uh, a group of vehicles and go up a cool trail and check some stuff out. And, We'll have vans too, so the van will have an adventure drive for all the van life stuff that's going on these days. Um, it'll be a great time. Food and some drinks and smiles. Food and drinks for sure. Yeah. I'll be there. You're going to be there, right? Heck yeah. So Mark, I remember you telling me that this is more than one location here. I know it started in San Diego, but it's all throughout San Diego, right? And yeah. you want to expand or tell me about that? Yeah, absolutely. We have four stores in greater San Diego, Temecula, Escondido, El Cajon, and here in San Diego. Um, our goal is to expand nationwide uh, over the next few years. and take our San Diego culture of what we've been living for the last almost 50 years and stretch it across the country and spread the love. Okay. So yeah, we're growing a lot. Uh, you know, we want to help people take a hobby and turn it into a career. So we're hiring all across, you know, San Diego now and so that could turn into positions, you know, nationwide. Well, this guy already has a pillow, so he's ready. Put him yeah, to I'm ready. Let's go. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah. All right. Put some tires on something. Grab, grab a wrench. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Get the gun, man. Hit it. <laughs> nice. Well, thanks cool. a lot, man. We had a great time here. For sure. Yeah. Cool. It's awesome. Thanks for coming. Not all. Cool. Me Good too. Job. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>